it's Tina and I'm back and I hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe if you're also back welcome back thank you so much for joining me again but if you're new and maybe you like what you see please consider subscribing we have tons of fun here on this channel talking about makeup and all things beauty and in today's video I am trying out a bunch of new products all right so this is going to be a get ready with me testing new products and I am going to focus mainly on lashes and lips or lips and lashes. That's what I am going to title the video because we are going to demonstrate these new lashes that I got from KISS. It's their Impress line of press on lashes and I want to show you guys this in action they're so fun they're so easy to use so easy to apply so if you were ever interested in trying lashes but maybe you were a little bit intimidated you're like I can't apply lashes I'm telling you right now so I'm gonna demonstrate the lashes in this video but I'm also going to try out a bunch of new lip products for you I'm wearing one of them now and I don't know if you can guess what it is, but it is fantastic. I am in love. I also have some of the new balms from Danessa Myricks. These are the blush balms. I'm wearing two shades now because I demonstrated both shades in this video. I also have the new foundation from KVD Beauty. This is the Good Apple Foundation, the Full Coverage Serum Foundation. Testing that out. I also am testing out this new Makeup Forever HD Skin Matte Velvet Foundation. It's their new powder foundation. I only dabbled in this a little bit because I'm using the KVD Beauty Foundation. Guess what? I'm also trying this new glowy product. I know, me, glow. So this is from Kosas. It's the new Glow IV Vitamin Infused Skin Enhancer. So I have two shades of this that I will also test out in this video. And yeah, also, okay, the Pat McGrath um, Mothership Velvet Liaison Palette, which is the all matte palette from the Love Collection. That's what I'm wearing on my eyes. So we have a lot to get through in this video. I'm testing out a ton of products and a ton of lip products that we're gonna swap through. So we're gonna do some lips and lashes. So if that sounds interesting to you, let's go ahead and dive right into it. Timestamps will be below so you can jump ahead to a section that interests you because I know it's gonna be a long video. So without much further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right guys, so let's get right into it. I'm starting off with a clean, freshly washed face. I did go in and fill in my eyebrows and I think they're, wait, this one is thinner than this one, isn't it? Ah, the struggles of having an even eyebrow, oh my god. So I filled in my eyebrows with my Patrick Ta brow pencil, which I have been loving. It has replaced my other brow pencils as my favorite. However, I still love my other brow pencils, it's just that I've been using that more. And boom, all right, we're done. So I went in with my NARS soft matte complete concealer in the shade caramel under my brows i also went in with my lane low paint pot from mac did I, woo, my voice is cracking because i went to a fair yesterday with my family and then i was over my mom's house and we were playing ludo you guys know ludo so ludo originated in india but it was brought over to jamaica and it's kind of one of the main games that jamaicans play that and dominoes so we're playing ludo right and you already know everybody's screaming and carrying on so now my voice is low-key like a little husky but yeah so i applied the paint pot all over my lids that's the shade lane low and we're just gonna have some fun with makeup today. I'm gonna be focusing mainly on these lashes as I mentioned and a ton of lip products that I picked up. I don't know how many I'm going to include but the lips and the lashes will be my main focus but we do need to do a quick eye look and I do have this new palette from Pat McGrath. This is from the Love Collection for Valentine's Day this palette is the velvet liaison 
which is the all matte palette. And I mentioned in another video that I picked this up because I've always wanted an all matte palette from Pat McGrath and I finally have it. So this is the palette we're gonna use. So let's go in with this first shade here, which is Barely Veiled. And it makes sense that this would be a neutral palette. I don't see her coming out with an all matte, like colorful story, or even like a 10 pan eyeshadow palette. You know her 10 pan Mothership palettes. I don't see that happening. She gave us a ton of colorful mattes in her holiday palette from last year, which now is still on sale. It's on the Sephora website for a very steep discount. Actually, let me see what the sale price is. They have the Star Wars collection still available too, so I don't know what's going on, but the price dropped from $82 to $50, so you can save a lot on this palette. Considering too that the palette is a larger one with more eyeshadows, I'm kind of surprised. But yeah, this base shade, it looks light in the pan, but it applies a little bit more richly on my skin. Skin, which I actually kind of like that depth that I created. Now let's go in with this caramelly shade, which is Enamored. So you can get kind of two vibes from this palette, either a warm vibe or like a mauvey pink vibe, because we have these two mattes, which are more on the rosy side, like rosy mauves. And then we have these two like warmer caramel browns. And this shade here is more on the neutral lean inside, so it's neither too cool or too warm. You're not going to be able to create like a significantly different look using the mauve tones versus the warm tones, but the undertones are going to be different. So it will be different, it's just a slight difference, which I don't mind because when I do all matte neutral looks, they tend to be this variation, a little bit of a blending shade followed by a deepening outer crease and then a more mm, like vanilla shade on the lid. So it's what I would do anyway. So I don't mind having this selection of shades. I actually do like it. Now let's go in with the deepest shade now, which is Midnight Mink. I'm using a BK Beauty 212 brush. This is just a kind of small but floppy blending brush. So it's perfect for this. When I initially used these shades, they didn't pick up very well, especially this dark brown. It was a little bit patchy. So I'm hoping this time around, it's not as patchy. It's hard to judge eyeshadows sometimes because depending on the base you use or the brushes, things can go awry. So it's like, are they buildable? Are they applying well? That's all I need to know and it's a little bit patchy on the outer V. So, at this point, I can probably assume that it ain't me, it's this eyeshadow and maybe this eye. <laughs> it may very well be this eye, because on this eye, it's, it's mostly fine. We're fine, whatever, whatever. It's not that big a deal, because it, it doesn't even look obvious. You can't even tell, can you? Now let's go in with the vanilla shade, which is Beige Bliss. And I'll pick that up on a Worker 2 brush from Sonia G. This is just a large shader brush. You'll see that the majority of the brushes that I use are blending brushes and shader brushes. And that's probably all you need ever <laughs> for an eyeshadow look. Like if you're getting into eyeshadows and you're like, what brushes do I need? Get a shader brush and get a couple of sizes of blender brushes. That's it. The shader brush doesn't need to have different sizes. You can like get a smaller one and a larger one and then your blending brushes will be the real workers in your look because they're gonna pack on color, they're gonna blend and blur and like this brush here from Real Techniques it's one of my favorite brushes because it's short and dense so I can stamp color on but I can still use it as a blender brush and I'm using this brush because I want to kind of even out some of this patchiness from the color on the outer V but that's it that's pretty much the entire look that we're going for I'm not doing anything else um let me see if I have another shade that I want to use 
to really fix this little bit of patchiness. It doesn't look really, really bad, but I just want to fix it a little bit. So I'm grabbing my Tropicolor palette from Sydney Grace. You know, she has a dark brown in here. So I'm gonna grab Cocoa Beans, which is the rich dark brown, and just tap a little bit on that outer V. If ever I wanna save the day with an eyeshadow look, I just grab one of my palettes because they are great and I know they work well. What is that sparkle on my lid? Oh no, one of the brushes probably had sparkle on them. But now you see how that shade on the outer V is even. That's what I wanted. Thank you so much to my palette. <laughs> so if you ever were questioning whether or not you should get my palette, there you go. And you can use my discount code to get 15% off. Plus they have sales so you can get it at a cheaper price point because I know it may be a little bit pricey for some of you guys, but I'm telling you it's worth it. You're gonna love my palette, okay? And it comes in in the clutch just like now. <laughs> Am I a salesperson? What is going on? All right, here's the thing. I have this pimple. You see her, right? She is visiting and I don't appreciate it. And so I'm gonna grab a Peace Out Acne Day Spot. So this is new to Peace Out. They already have acne dots, which I use all the time, right? So these are salicylic dots that you pop on your skin. They're almost like little band-aids and you peel them off the plastic backing, right? They're little adhesive backed dots and you pop them over the pimple and it will deliver the salicylic acid treatment to that pimple and suck out all the nasties and help it heal and protect it. So the acne day spots disappear on your skin. So you see, you can barely tell that I have it on. The, the Where's this glitter coming from? Oh, don't piss me off. Do not piss me off right now. One of my brushes has glitter and I am fed up. But you see, it kind of disappears on your skin. It's hardly discernible. So now you can layer makeup over it and that's the intent of these dots. And I love that for me, right? Like my little pimple can go ahead and heal, heal child, while I put makeup on over you because that's exactly what we're going to do. And I have a new foundation. You already know, already said it in the intro that I have the new KVD vegan, what is this? It's the new Good Apple Full Coverage Serum Foundation. And I did pick up two shades because I haven't seen these in store yet. I actually was able to order them online for in-store pickup even though they weren't on display at the store. So it's like somebody went ahead in the back and grab them for me, which is great. That's what I love about in-store pickup. Sephora, thank you so much. Shout out to you, which is one of the main reasons I still shop at Sephora. They have a few perks, especially for Rouge members. So I ended up paying for the full year of same day delivery, which is where you can order in line and they deliver your products same day, which works out for me right now because of where I'm located. Going to the Sephora store, is not always convenient. I do like going in store and shopping and stuff, but it's not always convenient. So being able to have a same day delivery service and they just deliver whatever I ordered is perfect for me. It works out, it's delivered by DoorDash. I don't have to pay for it because I already paid for the subscription. And then in addition to that, they have the same day pickup service where you can order online and just go straight in and pick up instead of like perusing the store which sometimes I get myself in trouble by perusing the store because then I'm swatching products and I'm like, let me get that, you know? So did the in-store pickup, so these products aren't even on the shelf. So like I said, I picked up two shades. I picked up 1072 and 1066, 
which are the shades that I have in the original Good Apple Foundation, you know, the Balm Foundation. So this retails for $42. That's the same price as the Makeup by Mario Foundation. It is available in 40 shades, and I think it has a pretty decent gradient. I think KVD actually does a good job with their shade range, but the way it's laid out, it looks a bit funky, so I don't know what shades are light and then what shades are medium. So you can't tell what the gradient is, but I know just being in store and seeing the shades that they do a pretty decent shade range. So the 1066 is for medium to tan skin with cool undertones. And then 1072 is for tan to deep skin with neutral bronze undertones. So I got this one originally, the 72, because 1070 is for tan skin with warm terracotta undertones. And I know that's going to be orange. Then 1068 is for tan skin with warm undertones, which again is going to be more on the orangey side, which is not my complexion. So they show swatches on actual skin tones. So you can see which one you match up best with. And I look close to 1068, but those warm undertones are throwing me off. If I can go in store and see this foundation next week, I might try out 68, but we'll see. For now, I'm mixing the 66, which is lighter, right, and has a cool undertone, which I feel like will balance out any warmth in this shade, which this one looks a little bit orange too. Okay, enough talking about that. Let me actually swatch the shades so you can see what it actually looks like, right? Let's zoom in. So hair is 66, which is definitely lighter than my complexion. And then hair is 72. 72 may be a little bit orangey, even though it says for neutral bronze undertones. And then the 66, close, but no cigar. It's just too light. So mixing the two together is just going to give me a better skin match. I didn't prime my skin. Should I have primed? I maybe should have primed a little bit. Oh my god. Decisions, decisions. Let's use a little bit of my Milk Matte Primer. Because I really like this. I just want to put this on my nose mainly. And then a little in my T-zone area. So how are you guys doing? There have been so many new releases. I'm about to film a shopping block video. Even though <laughs> I went ahead and shop too much so like what am I saying to myself but there have been so many good releases this spring that I'm just like woo and it is kind of the time of the year that we see tons of foundations we have Laura Mercier is releasing a new foundation we haven't heard from Laura Mercier in how long we have Makeup by Mario that did a foundation. Now we have KVD. Maybe even Gucci did another foundation. All I know is there, what is this glitter? Y'all, glitter is all over my face. I'm gonna go wash my hands because I don't know where the glitter is coming from and it is pissing me off right now. <laughs> That's why I don't like glittery eyeshadow because it gets everywhere. And I got rid of as much of the glitter as I could but I am pissed off and fed up. So hopefully I'm able to see this KVD foundation in store soon because I do want to see that 68 shade because I feel like it might be a good match since I'm between 66 and 72 and it's definitely not going to be 70. So, I mean, we'll see. We'll see. Now, this mix that I did is a pretty good match right now let's read some of the claims about this foundation because i have not read what it's all about i just know it's not meant to be dewy which is all that i can ask for nowadays because every foundation is dewy and i can't so it's a lightweight full coverage serum foundation that blends and bends with skin for a natural seamless finish and transfer proof wear Oh my god, it needs to be transfer proof because that good apple foundation bomb, I liked it, right? But it transferred everywhere. It never truly set down. So you see how I have the little acne dot so I can go over it with foundation. I just tap over the dot itself. I don't go rubbing, but you can kind of rub, but I don't want it to lift and peel off. So I just tap over it. And these dots like hold on for dear life. So they don't just go slipping and sliding. They're pretty sticky. So they stay in place, which I love because I sleep in them as well. 
the original ones, but the day ones I wear during the day. And like I said, they kind of blend seamlessly with your skin. It's not really discernible unless you're like looking closely and most people aren't looking at you closely. They don't care. They have things to do, child. So full coverage, natural finish. It is a serum foundation, but it doesn't really feel thin per se. Well, I don't feel it, which a full coverage foundation, usually you can feel it. And that is definitely full coverage. Okay, highlighted ingredients. All right, we have three highlighted ingredients. Kint's Leaf Extract, which helps keep shine in check. Thank you. Apple Extract, which nourishes and keeps skin looking fresh. And Glycerin, which nourishes the skin for all day comfort. This product is vegan, cruelty free, and comes in recyclable packaging. Thank you so much. You've never seen full coverage like this. Packed with flexible elastomer pigments, good apple, full coverage, transfer proof, vegan serum foundation. This is almost as long as that name they tried to sell us, child. KVD Beauty doing good, like all kinds of vegan foolishness. Anyhow. This foundation blends and bends with your skin for a natural seamless flashback free finish that covers everything from blemishes to acne scars to hyperpigmentation. It has a poor blurring effect, is non-comedogenic and stands up to sweat and humidity. Those are a lot of claims. Let's see the 30 volunteers that were tested says 100% agree that it's easy to apply, 100% agree that it has a shine-free finish, and 93% agree that it felt lightweight on the skin. So, let's see. Shine-free finish. That is true. That is true. It was very easy to apply. Does it cover everything? It doesn't feel heavy. It does not feel heavy. If you're used to foundation, this will feel like just regular schmegler foundation on your skin. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing heavy duty foundation. Let me add a little bit more around my mouth because it does say full coverage. It covers hyperpigmentation. I didn't really apply a lot around my mouth, which is something that I don't normally do. I always skip my mustache. It's like, what are you doing? So let's, yeah, let's apply that over some of my acne spots and see what happens. Since it does say, is this brush the culprit? It may be, so I need to wash this brush. Put you over here, because I feel like you're the one with the sabotaging glitter particles that we don't appreciate. Let me use this new brush, this clean brush, okay. Mm. It definitely is covering, yeah, it covers really well. I didn't even apply a ton, and I feel like, is the, is the, let me close my blinds. Every time I film this time of the day, I have to like adjust the lighting and I'm like, but this is like the time of the day that I film. Like it's when I've already gotten most things done and I can actually dedicate some time to sitting down and filming. So I don't appreciate the lighting sabotaging me. Although it looks pretty good now. I just applied a little bit of that under my eyes to see if it could do the work of a concealer. And I think it did a pretty decent job. Do I want to go in with more concealer? I don't, well, yeah, I'm gonna go in with more concealer. But that looks good. What do you, like, my skin does look blurred. Like the pores aren't pouring like they usually do. It looks, it does look good. It really does look good, okay. I appreciate that. Let's use. A little bit of my Sephora concealer one that's tried and true so I don't do too much and I'm just gonna apply it just on that inner tear duct area and blend it like try to keep it right there you know all right maybe a little bit out here too maybe just a little bit okay and then let me grab a little sponge this sponge is dry but that's fine and tap it out this looks good guys this foundation does look good and like i said i liked the other foundation how it looked and this is just the liquid foundation version of it it seems maybe i'll keep those two shades because this is delightful i feel so pretty oh my god all right powder so i have a powder foundation but now i don't know if i want to try the powder foundation 
It's from Makeup Forever. It's the HD Skin Matte Velvet Undetectable Blurring Powder Foundation. I'm going to try a little bit of it, not too much. This is the shade 4Y60. It's yellow as hell. I'm just going to use a little bit of it. Should I? Yeah, let me just use a little bit of it. I'm going to use my BK Beauty 105 brush and just like not too much and just press it over this hmm okay do you see a difference this powder says matte which i'm all about the velvet matte plus foundation from makeup forever was one of my faves okay so let me just yeah let me use that as my powder just as a light dusting and then leave the rest of it to the KVD. That looks nice. I also have the new blushes from Vanessa Myricks. So these are the Yummy Skin. They don't have the name on the actual product. Vanessa, you piss me off. So these are the Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder Flushed Matte Color for Lip and Cheek. Maybe you could include that whole name because that's that is too much. These are $25 a piece and I have two shades. I have Prima Donna which is described as a vibrant hot pink it surely is and then i have golden hour which is described as a vivid orange nectar Ooh, so i've used golden hour before let me use it again but just like a touch of it on this side since this side has the pimple and i've used golden hour before and i know that i like it so this color it's not really like an orange. It's more like a like a watermelon shade. It's not really given orange, like a bold yellow orange. It's given more of like a watermelon type shade, which I love. That is a beautiful color, but I haven't tried the Prima Donna one yet, so that's Golden Hour. And this is Prima Donna. Oh my God, I got hair in it. Very pink. Oh my god, so these are very pigmented, okay? And a little goes a long way. So you want to be light-handed with these. But I don't mind that, you know? If you're light skin, if you're very pale, then you want to be very gentle with the application of this product. I don't have to be too gentle because I have more melanin in my skin and this color is beautiful and I'm happy to see that Vanessa is repping for us so that color is also like a more muted watermelon shade but no this is more strawberry I would say because it has that pinky hue to it that is beautiful these these blushes are beautiful I'll tell you that right now they're beautiful so let me just even out the sides of my face with this blush all right so if you're afraid of blush and if you're afraid of color and you're very pale you might be like oh my god I can't you can but if you if you can't then you can't but if you have a richer deeper complexion these are gonna be for you these are beautiful and what I do when a blush like goes too far I blend it out and then I go over it with my face product brush which doesn't that look stunning? I look blurred and beat right now. Like between the foundation and the blush, like I'm, I'm blurred and you know what? I'm feeling pretty. All right. Next, we're going to do the lashes and the lips, which is what we were supposed to be focusing on in this video. But apparently the face was also participating. So I'm going to apply some mascara and I'll be right back to show you the lashes that I really want you to see how these apply and get you guys excited about lashes if you've ever been afraid of lashes. So I'll be right back. All right, my mascara is on and now I am ready to share with you these lashes that I'm so excited about. So if you know me, then you know I love a good falsie, all right? I wear falsies in almost every video. I love how they complete a look and my favorite falsies are from Kiss, all right? Falsies are false eyelashes if you're not down with the lingo, but that's what they are. But Kiss is available 
in the drugstore. You can get it at Target, CVS, Walgreens, you can get it at Walmart, you can get them at Ulta, you can use coupons, like Kiss is where it's at because you can get a good deal on them and they go on sale a lot, right? As well as through the Kiss website. So Kiss is my jam. I also love their press-on nails. Again, I wear press-on nails. All the nails that you've seen me in on this channel for the last three years maybe have been press-on nails. They are amazing. They're easy. I can change up my nails as much as I want. And these are also from Kiss. So these are from the Vogue Fantasy lines, the French designs. I picked this up at Ulta. I will link it down below if I remember. If I don't, just let me know. But like, they're such fun nails. So, all right, you get it. I love false eyelashes. I love press on nails and I love kiss. All right, because they make my favorite lashes and my favorite nails. All right, so there's also like a little baby sister brand under the kiss umbrella of nails that's called Impress. Now those nails actually have like sticky tabs under each of the false nails. So you just press them on. You don't have to do the glue application at all. Those little tabs are pre-mounted. You don't even have to stick them on yourself. You just literally grab the nails and press them on. So they're called Impress, right? I don't use those nails because I don't like those little tabs. Those nails lift really easily and I do a lot of dishes. So things get under my nails. They lift, they pop off too easily. So I've never really been impressed with the impressed nails because of those reasons. So I've stayed away from them, but they have beautiful designs. So if you just want to snap on a quick set of nails and you don't want the damage with the glue, then those are great for you to try out. Anyway, They've now expanded the Impress line into the lashes. And when I saw these at Walgreens, I was like, what's that? Let me see, let me try them out. So this is what I picked up from Walgreens. This is an extra one. So they're called the Impress Press On Falsies. So again, remember I said the little sticky tabs are on the nail, so you automatically just press them on. So that's the same idea with these eyelashes. So with the Kiss Lashes, you see them, they're the Kiss Lashes, these strip lashes, you do have to apply glue to the band and then, you know, stick them on. So you need the glue separate from the lashes. With this Impress line, what they're saying is that they already have the glue on the lashes. So all you have to do is grab them and press them on, just like the nails. You get it? You get it, right? And this little kit is available at Ulta, Walgreens, Target, all around and it comes with an applicator. So the applicator looks like so, it's beautiful. It's a lash applicator. You can use it for applying any of your strip lashes or these lashes, right? But you don't just have to buy the kit with the lash applicator if you already have your lash applicator because they also sell the little refills, right? I found these specifically at Target. I'm sure they're gonna expand the range and have them available everywhere, but for right now, I got these at Target, I got this at Ulta actually, and the other ones I got at Walgreens, which I've already used up a bunch of them. So like I said, you can get the kit with the applicator, right? But this only has 20 of the little lash clusters while if you get the refill, you get 30 clusters. So I would actually recommend getting the refill and use your own lash applicator because how many applicators do you need? Like, did I need this plus my other lash applicators that I already have? No, but here we are because I didn't know they had them individually like this yet. So whatever. The point is get the little refills. I'll link them down below and they have different styles. So we have voluminous and we have wispy and we have curly. And I've picked up like a variety of them. I prefer the wispy ones to the curly, but the curly ones look cute too. So what these are, all right, we've already told you about the lashes, blah, blah, blah. So these are little chopped up clusters of lashes rather than having a full strip lash like this, you know, so you have to trim it, put on the full strip. Instead, now you have little clusters and these are little trios. So they have had these before and they also have like the extension version that has the glue that you can use as lash extensions. But I prefer the little clusters that I can remove because I'm not doing um, lash extensions. I'm not, okay? That's not my that's not my vibe. That's not that's not my lane. I stay out of it. So these little lash clusters, right? They have different lengths as well. So you have the short, medium, and long. So you can choose whichever ones you want. And they have the instructions. And like I said, you can get the one with the applicator. I don't love the applicator, you know. 
because I've just gotten used to using a flat top tweezer, which you can get these on Amazon. I'll link these down below so you can check them out. But these still work, okay? So it's not that they don't work, it's just I find it easier to use the flat top tweezer. So what you're supposed to do is grab one of the clusters, right? And they tell you to stay away from the sticky area at the top. So just grab them by the tips. Don't grab them by the sticky area because they, they're sticky, okay? So I'm just going to grab the lash just like that. They pop off pretty easily. You can use your fingers as well, but this is what one of the little clusters look like, right? So it's a trio. We have long, medium, short. You can stagger them however you choose. Let me come way in so you can see. So you grab it. So you're supposed to stick it right under your lash line where you have that little strip of bare skin, kind of like your waterline, but at the top of your lashes, and you stick it where it's comfortable, right? And it sticks. It sticks to your little lash line and your lashes because of that sticky area on the lash itself. And it looks really natural, like, do you see that? Isn't that wild? And then you can, like I said, stagger it however you want. So I'm gonna grab a medium lash now and just put it right next to the other one. And you literally stick it under there and you're good to go. What? Like, come on. Tell me these aren't the lashes that Michaela Negrero used to fake that mascara situation because you can't see the lash band, right? Because it's under my lash. And you can't even see where I have the little falsies stuck on. Are you guys not impressed? Are you not impressed? And they stick pretty well. Now, if you cry or if you pull at them or if you're in a windy situation, I'm not gonna promise you they're gonna hold on, all right? There are no promises there, but, right? Isn't that cute? And you can keep like layering the lashes to get the fullness that you want. Now, personally, I don't like the feel of the lash under my lash line, but that's just me, right? You don't just need to use them the way they say by sticking them under. You can always stick them on top too, but if you put them on top, now the sticky part, which is on the top of the lash, so the sticky part is right here. So if I touch the lash, it's sticky, right? But there's no glue at the lash band or on the other side. So it won't stick by itself if you just pop it on the top. But you can still use lash glue and pop it on the lash band and pop it on how you would like a normal strip lash, which is what I'm gonna do on this side. So I'm gonna grab another cluster, okay? Let's use a long one, right? So I picked their new glue up as well when I picked up the lashes. This is the super strong glue. It's in the color black. So this lash glue has some biotin and blueberry extract added to it and it is latex free so it is for me and i'm just going to brush that on the little lash band just like that easy swing it around a bit so it dries and then you just pop it right along your lash line just like you would a strip lash, right? And again, it's kind of seamless and invisible, but instead of being under your lash, it's now on top. So now I grabbed one of the medium lashes, and like I said, you just go in and pop it on your lash line, similar to a strip lash, and bam. Like, you can't really tell, right? It's not a full strip, just like on this side. Like, come on, so you can choose whichever like technique is easier for you or which one feels more comfortable really because both of these are easy for me to do. The easier one for a beginner, I would say, is this under lash. And it's not really uncomfortable, okay? But I feel like having it on top of your lash is more comfortable. But these are thin, like the band is really thin, the lash is really thin, the clusters are really thin, like 
it's not uncomfortable. I'm just feeling it because I know it's there, but you don't even really feel it. It's not irritating my eyes. And it's giving me lash without giving me lash, you know? Tell me this isn't like one of the best things that has happened in a while. Tell me, okay? I'm sorry, but these brands that keep coming out with nonsense, I'm just like, when are you gonna innovate? And this is innovative. 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 This is innovative, okay? I like oits to you. Do you also like? And you can pinch them with your natural lashes so they stick together. But just be mindful again, it's sticky on the top, so if you have them on your upper lashes, don't use a lash curler with them like I usually do, because they will just snap off <laughs> because they're gonna stick to that lash curler. So use your fingers instead to pinch them with your natural lashes. But they blend really easily. All right, let me go swap them around and then we'll get to the lips because we did the lashes, now it's lip time. All right, so before we get into the lips, I realized that there was one more product that I wanted to actually use on camera. Yes, from Kosas. Remember when I said if I go in store and swatch things, that's when I get in trouble? That's exactly what happened with these, okay? When I saw these originally, I was like, Psh, stupid. These are the Glow IV Vitamin Infused Skin Enhancer. This is similar to the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. Remember when that originally launched and no one was quite sure how to use it? Some people even thought it was a foundation product until they realized that it was glowy and had a very limited shade range. So how dare Charlotte do a complexion product with a limited shade range? Not realizing that it was a multi-use product. You could use it as an all over glowy base for your foundation, you know, before you went in with foundation. You could also mix it in with your complexion product to create a more luminous finish even thin it out a bit. You can also use it for spot highlighting in targeted areas. There's so many ways you could use that product that Charlotte Tilbury did the right thing by not defining it as a primer or a highlighter. She just said, it's my flawless filter, use it how you want to, right? And now so many brands have been trying to duplicate that type of product because people fell in love with it, right? So the Kosas one says, it's a clean vitamin infused skin enhancer that instantly activates a lit up glow. Glow wherever you feel it, create a beautiful base, highlight targeted areas, mix with foundation or skincare. It's gonna give you reflective, visibly healthier skin, hint of tint, and a daily dose of skin nutrients, all right? So silicone free, free of mineral oil, fragrance, parabens, sulfates, phthalates, all these ingredients that, you know, all these clean brands want to exclude. So again, you can use it as a base product, you can use it as a mixer, and you can use it for spot highlighting. Here's the thing about this product, which I find hilarious, and I'll tell you why in a second but it is available in 10 shades, similar to the Hollywood Flawless Filter, like I said, right? So there are multiple shades available, right? Various undertones, like you have champagnes and pearls and more bronzy tones, right? And they have different depth levels, so deeper skin tones can enjoy a glowy product, while you have other shades for lighter skin tones. It makes sense, it all makes sense. But here's the thing, I haven't seen this used on a richer skin tone yet. So when I went in store to see this, I was low key kind of jokingly trying it out, like swatching it out because I've heard horror stories from those people with paler skin, like really light skin. Their shades are almost like translucent with a ton of glitter. And it looks awful, right? It looks so sparkly, like they're one of the Cullens. It's just so shimmery, right? So I was like laughing when I was swatching it because I'm like, ha ha, hee hee, this is such a stupid product, right? So I swatched the lighter shades. It's literally like silver glitter on my hand and I'm like, who decided this was okay? And then I swatched the deeper shades. Joke was on me. Joke was on me and <laughs> I stand corrected, all right? So I picked up the shade Recharge, which is a sheer deep tan, and then Energize, which is a sheer deep copper bronze. Hear me out. Here are the two shades. So this is Recharged, this is Energized, right? Let me do Energized first. 
bronzy shade, right? A sheer deep copper bronze. That's what it says, right? And then this one is recharge. Okay. Energize, recharge. Did I say that wrong? So I blended these out and not a glitter could be found, right? It has a more opaque finish. It's not really that sheer, but there's literally no glitter, no chunky shimmer. It's just a glowy product, right? So I was surprised by that. So much so that I picked up the two shades like an idiot, right? <laughs> because I mean, I'm going to show you what this looks like now. Blend it out. No glitter. It's just a beautiful sheen. Now, if you know me, you know I don't love a highlighter, but I love a subtle glow. And these are like skin toned liquid highlighters that are not shimmery or glittery for us. For us. Now, the pale shades, like I said, like I said, <laughs> are very, very glittery. They're awful, right? And I don't know what possessed them to do that at all. Like, I don't get why they would make the shades so different in formulation. So I'm going to try these out. Let me use the lighter shade recharge first. Let's zoom in a bit. Let me do a recharge on this side without the pimple. So I'm just going to tap it over my skin, right? So I swatched it on my arm. It's a very lightweight gel product. It's not lotiony or really emollient. It's like a gel that dries down. <laughs> Y'all, this is so subtle on me. This is the bronze one now. This shade is Energize. And I'm just tapping it out like, hello, you know? Look how subtle that is. Like, my skin is supposed to be matte with this foundation, right? So this is targeted highlighting, like targeted glow. If I was gonna do a liquid highlighter, this is what I would want because it's very subtle, it's very beautiful, and it doesn't feel greasy. It dries down almost immediately, and it just looks pretty. Now, you see, you can't even tell I'm wearing this. It looks very, very subtle. If you can even tell I'm wearing it. I don't know if you can, but I can tell under the lights, my skin just starts to radiate, just to look, not radiate like radiation, like the Hulk, but there's this subtle, healthy glow to my skin that I can appreciate. So, the moral of the story is, not all shades are created equal. They made a beautiful product for deeper skin tones. For my pale sisters out there, <laughs> they did y'all dirty, so dirty. They were like, oh, y'all, mm -mm. we gonna give them glitter, child. They wanna look like a vampire from, um, what's that series called, Twilight? That's what they wanna look like. So we're, we're gonna give it to them. I'm like, that's so mean. Y'all are foul, that's foul. But I just thought I should pop that in right now because I did pick it up and I wanted to like tell you guys about it. All right, I'll probably mention it in my shopping block video that I'm gonna do. Lip time. So, this video is way too long already, but I can't stop, I can't stop. If you watched a halftime show at the Super Bowl, then you saw Rihanna wearing this poppin' red lip. Her makeup in that performance was amazing. She looked so flippin' good, I couldn't get over it, from the red outfit, the makeup, the beat, the lips. It was over for me, okay? So I needed to know what lipstick she was wearing. I knew it was Fenty, but what? So it happens to be one of the new liquid lipsticks. So this is the Velvet Liquid Lipstick in the shade, the NVP, which is shade 01. I had to get it, right? These are a little pricey. Not gonna hold you, they're a little pricey. Since I can't use my close-up mirror, let me go in with this little handheld. So this is, okay, when I swatched this Insta, I was like, yeah, that color is amazing. So this is like a whipped 
velvet moussey formula it's not like a true liquid matte lipstick that we're used to from yesteryear this is one of those moussier formulas and this color is so amazing i mean come on y'all i am so happy right now i know i'm being extra but y'all like look at this flipping red color child the color I can't get over it and it's so comfortable because it's not drying down it truly looks like velvet mmm mm, oh and it feels all cushy and oh Rihanna killed it with this so it says it's a liquid lipstick with head turning hues that stays while feeling plush and comfy it is really plush and comfy this is so cozy right now in the ingredient list there's no carmine. It just says Red Six Lake and Red Seven Lake. So it's not even the carmine that's given it that. <sighs> this is probably now my favorite red. And it's such a comfy, cozy formula. All right, I have two more shades, all right? So we're going to try them on. But I, I'm in love with this. Love it. Now, there are five shades available, but I only picked up the red shades. There are two light, lighter pink shades. One's Riri and one's Sea Sweetheart. And I didn't really love those, so I went ahead and grabbed HBIC, which is the other red. This one is a deeper, more muted red than NVP, but it's also very stunning. And I can't get over how comfortable and cushy this formula is. It really does feel like a velvet lipstick. This is really pretty as well. Like I mentioned, it's a little bit more muted. And there are no shade descriptions for these. This one is giving me a little bit of a more brick vibe to it. In other words, it has a little like deep orange to it. But it's stunning as well. I still love the NVP shade. That's my favorite so far, but this one is also really stunning. And they glide on so well. It's like full impact pigmentation. I did not have to re-dip. And the applicator is kind of spot on. It picks up just the right amount of product. It's swiping on a full layered color in one swipe. It's easy to control the application and Oh my god, this color is so good. All right, next one. Now the next shade is Breadwinner. This is the deep chocolatey brown. And like I said, I love a brown, so you know I'm gonna get this. And oh my god. Y'all, stop the presses right now. I am so in love. I cannot get over how well these apply. The pigmentation is so spot on and the formula feels so good. Mm, I was gonna complain about the price being $29, but I think this, this is just worth it, guys. This formula is so good right now. I oh my god I can't get over it and the packaging is stunning she has this little clear cap at the top that has the Fenty Beauty logo kind of embedded in there it looks a little like 3d the packaging is beautiful the formula is beautiful I can't get over it this is so good look at this brown I am almost ready to wrap it up okay I was gonna try on some more lips for you guys and I almost want to be done. But no, I'm not going to cheat you guys out of this. I promised you lashes and lips and that's what we're going to do. So I have another black owned brand and I picked up one of their lip colors. So I want to try that out as well. So this is from LYS Beauty. It's their Speak Love Moisture Matte Lipstick. It's a slim line lipstick. This packaging is also very stunning. It's in that signature triangle shape that LYS uses for their packaging. And two of the sides have this faux leather pink detail. It's so pretty. It looks so luxurious. And these are $20 a piece. We have the LYS logo. And then on the other side, it's like a beautiful rose gold. All right. Like I said, this is a slimline lipstick. The shade I picked up is Rich AF, which is described as a classic red. Okay, LYS, this is kind of cute. The slim packaging is allowing it to glide on with great precision. It's a beautiful color as well, but I'm not as in love with it as I am with the NVP shade from Rihanna. And they say this is a moisture matte lipstick, Feels very lightweight, feels very comfortable, but it's far from matte. This is more of a cream lipstick. I would say even like a satin finish. 
It definitely is not giving matte at all. There's some shine to it. There, you can kind of see it has some shine to it, but beautiful opacity. Feels really comfortable as well. It's a cute little moment, and there are a few more shades to choose from. So I wanted to show you this one, and they have lip pencils as well. I did pick up a couple of their lip pencils. So I have three shades of the lip pencils. I have Soulful, which is a warmer caramel brown. This is going to be great for a nude lip. And I have Devoted, which is a darker brown. Again, a great nude lip pencil. And the formulation feels very creamy. It's a pencil type, so you're going to have to sharpen it. And then the last shade is Rise Above, which is a deeper, like, cranberry shade. Let's go ahead and try out another brand of lipsticks that I picked up. All right, lighting adjustment again. So these are from One Size by Patrick Star. These are the Lip Snatcher Hydrating Liquid Lipstick and Lip Gloss Duos. I picked up three shades because when I went in store again, got caught swatching and fell in love with the shades that I saw. So this first shade is No Speed Limit, which is described as a shimmering and matte hot coral. And I'll go in with the matte side first. So these are again duo sided. So you have a matte liquid lipstick and then a lip gloss on the other end. Now this is a very stunning shade. It's a bright coral, but I'm finding it a little bit more difficult to layer this color on. It's more like a traditional liquid matte lipstick. It's drying down kind of awkwardly and then if you press your lips together it transfers a bit. So layering this up is giving me a harder time and I don't like how this feels. Yeah, it's sticky. It has that formulation, again, of a older liquid lipstick that feels a little bit drier and tighter on the lips. And then it's picking up, yeah, it's picking up where I press my lips together. I'll go in with the gloss side anyway, just to show you, but I'm not loving this so far. But if the gloss makes it feel a little bit more comfortable, then maybe people might be interested. The gloss is pretty and it's definitely mm, making the lip color feel a little bit more comfortable, but now it feels thick. It's a very pretty color and now it feels a lot better. The gloss isn't sticky, but of course, now it's a liquid lipstick with a gloss on top. Very pretty but uncomfortable. All right, next shade. All right, that was a little bit disappointed. Let's try out OS Red, which is a pearlescent and matte true red. So this is the signature red. This one is a true blue red. It is spot on with what I would expect from a classic red shade. It's a little bit more difficult to apply. I thought it was just the first shade that I was getting accustomed to and adjusting to the shape of the applicator but the applicator is not very flexible it's a stiffer applicator and it's not giving me as much precision as the Fenty applicator this shade is beautiful it feels a little bit more comfortable because it is almost applying a little bit more on the thin side versus the coral shade so it feels a little bit less tight and heavy on the lips. It's given me like a blurred red finish, not like a truly like rich opaque red color to the lips, which, you know, it's fine. It works. It's a pretty red, but I feel like the Fenty is going to ruin the rest of these colors for me because the Fenty one was just amazing. But this feels a little bit better. Maybe I applied it a little bit more thinly so it feels better. Let's try the gloss on which is just a pearlescent gloss. Again, the gloss is pretty. It's given this really shiny look to the lips. It's pretty, right? But is it giving me pow pow? Not really, and these are $28. The Fenty ones are 29. Mind you, these are duo, so you're getting two products in one. But I'm not in love with this one either. It's very pretty though. So I don't think you'd be disappointed if this is what you're looking for. But so far, I'm not in love with the formulation. 
it's not what I look for in a liquid lipstick anymore before yeah this is what I would expect like the older formulations from 2016 2017 18 and maybe Patrick Starr is kind of stuck in that era because that's when he was really really popular so maybe he's still like thinking about that kind of formulation but liquid lipstick formulations have been upgraded so much since then that yeah i'm not in love so far let's try the final shade which is night walker which is the dark brown the wand also pulls out with quite a lot of product on it i'm trying to be a little bit more precise with the application and apply less product just to see if it would work better and it's still very difficult to apply but it feels a lot better on the lips when you have less product and if you don't layer it up then it doesn't get that really tight feel so the formula is growing on me it's a little bit more comfortable now that I'm applying less product but I'm not getting like the punch of opacity that I would prefer with a liquid lipstick this is giving me more of like a blurred look to the lips which is fine let's go in with the gloss which this gloss is probably my favorite it's so pretty it's like a multicolored bronze gloss yes that is stunning yeah get to me bronzy glosses are always a go but i wish he had sold them separately because i would definitely get this gloss on its own the liquid lipstick side not really a fan. I can kind of feel the glitter in this one too. But look at that. I don't know if you can see the multicolor glitter. You probably can't, but it's stunning. This is pretty with the gloss. The brown lipstick by itself wasn't really like a vibe, but this one is kind of cute. It's kind of cute. I I'm not in love with this one the formula of the matte liquid lipstick it's okay but it's very old school and I do not love that for me I prefer the glosses more than anything else I wish he sold the glosses um, by themselves because the glosses are very pretty like they're extremely pretty and they feel comfortable they don't feel sticky and they give this beautiful glow to the lips but I don't like the liquid lipsticks themselves. You know what I also have? I have the Fenty Beauty lipsticks. The ones that had debuted a while back. These are the Fenty Icon Semi Matte Lipsticks. So these were the ones in the refillable tubes. So you bought the refill separate from the actual tube. Then it kind of snaps up like that and you apply it from the bullet. I wanted to try, yeah, the NVP, which is the same shade as the liquid lipstick to see how this formulation is. I'm not gonna try out all the shades that I picked up. I was trying it out to see if I prefer this over the LYS formula, and I do, but these are a little pricey because the lipstick on their own are $20, like these little refills. And then the tube that they go in, which is this, you have the red one, which is limited edition, and then you have the silver one. These are $12, so one lipstick is going to cost you $32 if you get it with the refillable tube. But you can get just the lipstick on its own. And you can apply it from this, like, you don't need the actual case to put it in, but it makes sense to have the case. But... I prefer this formulation to the LYS, but I'm not as in love with this formulation as I am with the liquid lipstick. So if I had to recommend anything out of this lineup right now, it would be the new Fenty liquid lipsticks. They're not the dry matte liquid lipsticks. These are like a cushiony liquid lipstick. All right, let me wipe this off. Put on my favorite color and I'll be right back to finish up the video. Y'all already know what lipstick I put on because it's the NVP. It is so stunning. I'm so in love with this. Thank you, Rihanna, for sharing this with me because it is so stunning. And again, it is so comfortable. It was so easy to apply. I'm just in love. So 
All right, let's wrap this up. I tried a bunch of products out in this video with you guys, and I did a full-on lash demonstration about these new lashes that I am so in love with, and I tried out a bunch of new lip products. So, let's start from the top. The eyeshadow palette. I think this is cute. It's a good little neutral palette to have from Pat McGrath. Like I said, I've always wanted an all matte palette from her and I vibe with an all matte neutral palette and you can get a couple of looks out of this palette. I feel like the shadows applied and blended well. My only issue is this dark shade, the darkest one in the palette, seems to pick up a little bit patchy sometimes on me. I was able to save the day with my own palette, but this look is stunning. I almost wish that that darkest brown would show up a little bit more, but I'm happy with the palette so far. $65 though is a little steep for six shadows and I'm not like over the moon. So I would try to get that on sale if you can, which Pat McGrath always has a sale on our website. I'm sure this collection will go on sale pretty quickly. So you could probably get it at a discounted price. I wouldn't necessarily recommend paying full price for that. All right, the lashes, you guys already know. I'm in love with them. I love these lashes and I'm so impressed with them. <laughs> do you like how I played with the brand name? But no, I really do love these lashes and I'm telling you right now, if you were afraid of false eyelashes, if you were intimidated, if you think they're too much or you can't do them, this is a great way to tiptoe your way into false lashes. They're easy to apply under your lash line or above, but you'd have to use a lash glue. So if you're a beginner, I think applying it under the lash line is gonna be your best bet. It's really easy to do, and it's not overly uncomfortable, but you're still gonna feel them. My preferred way is to apply them to the top lash line with their lash glue, which is another thing that I tried out, and I'll say that this lash glue is really nice as well. They've always had nice lash glues, and this one is, so far, really good. Again, it's latex-free, so it's comfortable for me. And there are different styles of the lashes that you can try out. The wispy ones are the ones that I demonstrated in this video, but you have the curly ones and the voluminous ones as well. I would recommend actually getting the set of 30 lashes, which is the kind of refill pack versus getting the pack with the applicator. The applicator is cute, you know, it is a nice applicator, so if you don't already have one, then this is a nice kit to pick up, but there are only 20 lashes here, while you get 30 in the refill pack, and you get long, medium, and short options. So, yeah, definitely love the lashes. The cheek products, listen, I am so in love with these, and the colors have stayed on. Cream blushes disappear on me so quick, but these are still holding up. I have color on my cheeks. It's not as intense as when I started or when I first applied it, but remember, I did kind of temper them down a little bit with my powder, but these I'm in love with so far, and I wanna see the other shades in store because I wanna pick some more up. The formulation is very nice. It blurs, it blends really well, but they're really punchy, so if you have a light skin tone or you're afraid of blush just be mindful that these are intense but she has lighter shades for lighter skin tones so maybe just try the lighter shades for your lighter skin tone but if you have deep rich melanated skin these are fantastic sis Danessa really did well and this little new Kosas product okay I was surprised by these and I wanted to make sure I shared them with you. These are the Glow Ivy. They're a little pricey, but if you were looking for something similar to the Hollywood Flawless Filter, these might be right up your alley. I actually really like them and I'm going to use them more because they're not intense at all. I can see myself using these under makeup for an all over glow if I wanted to, if I wanted to. I don't usually want to, but they're so subtle. They give this really beautiful, natural glow to the skin without being glittery or chunky. So if you have richer skin, again, these are for us, but if you have lighter skin, those shades are glittery. I swatch them, they're glittery. It's like really obvious glitter. So maybe stay away, but for tan and deeper skin, those are really nice. And even the tan shade, which is Recharge, might actually work out for you if you have a medium complexion because it's not too deep. So I really like that. And the darker shade, which is Energize, shares out pretty well. So it's not like they are really pigmented shades. They do share out. So I think even if you're a little bit lighter than me, 
maybe even a few shades lighter than me you can get away with the um, the lighter shade and even the deeper shade if you wanted to use it to add some color to your skin so those are nice I am very surprised all right the lips the lips the lips the lips Fenty Beauty hands down love this liquid lipstick it's fantastic highly recommend this is so comfortable I'm not feeling it it's lightweight it's plush it feels comfortable it's full impact color and it's such a good color stop love it these shades fantastic I hope she adds a lot more shades because I'll be picking them up okay the pink shades in the line Riri and then the C sweet one no I don't want that one mm -mm. I love the red and the brown shades so loving this fantastic the lip liners from LYS Beauty I think these are really nice as well these are fantastic they feel very cushiony and glidey and they have great pigmentation and I love the colors that I picked up as for the lipstick itself it's not bad okay but it's more of a glossy lipstick which I'm not interested in a glossy formula unless it's gonna be a really creamy creamy formula and even though this feels comfortable it's not like a really ultra plush formula like the hourglass one that feels really hydrating and nourishing on my lips this is just shiny you know what I mean so I don't love this but I do love the lip liners the one size products I am torn because it's a dual sided liquid lipstick and gloss and I like the gloss I really really like the gloss I really like the bronze gloss especially you can see it in the tube you may not be able to see the reflect on my lips but you can see it in the tube that's how it looks on the lips and I'm really in love with it but are you gonna buy a dual sided product just for the lip gloss I don't think so I really hope he sells the glosses individually because they're they're really nice but the liquid lipstick it's like an old school liquid lipstick that's dry and tight it doesn't feel very comfortable and to make it feel a little bit better you have to apply a really thin layer but then the thin layer doesn't give you the full opacity but then when you pair it with the gloss it's nice so it's like you know I don't know like I'm torn because the whole point is to probably wear the matte lipstick by itself but I don't want to because it's not that comfortable you know what I mean so I am torn I think I'm gonna definitely keep the brown one but I'm debating on the other two even though I do love the glosses I I yeah yeah I am still wondering about these and I don't know how to feel just yet did we talk about the foundation no we did not because I'm saving that for last because I really like it I really do like it I have not blotted my skin I've been filming for a while you saw me apply and reapply and take off liquid lipsticks and it's holding up pretty well I do like it but it does look like foundation on your skin it feels very lightweight right it feels very comfortable and cozy but I can tell I am wearing foundation and it is kind of settling into pores now it's not ugly it doesn't look bad it looks really good but I just know I have foundation on which is not necessarily a bad thing like very few people can't tell that you're not wearing makeup unless you're really good at that no makeup makeup look and then men are confused because they're idiots but you can tell I'm wearing makeup but it's really beautiful makeup if that makes sense it feels comfortable I love the finish of this I really like this a lot so I'm gonna try to get a better shade match but the foundation so far I'm loving it I just have to do like a wear test now to see how it wears throughout the day to really give you like solid feedback but so far so good and then the makeup forever foundation powder I don't want to say much about this because I feel like I didn't get to test this out as much but I have high hopes for this because so far I tried it yesterday and I'm trying it today again so far I really do like it but I have to test it out some more but the KVD foundation so far so good 
And that's it. Those are all the products that I tried today in this video. I know it's been a longer one, but I really wanted to just play around in makeup and play around with some new products and share them with you guys. And hopefully the demonstrations and the swatches and of course my initial thoughts about these products helped you out in case you were curious and interested in trying these products out yourself. I had a good time testing them out. And again, hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing me test them out and hearing my thoughts. I will leave all the products listed down below in the description box along with links on where you can pick them up. If there's an asterisk next to any of those links, it means it is an affiliate link, which means I will get a small sales commission if you make a purchase through those links. It's a great way to show your support for the channel because it gives me a kickback without changing the retail price. So if you do want to show your support that way, I truly appreciate it. But if you're not comfortable with that, just shop the way you normally shop, no must, no fuss. I'm still happy you're here watching. Leave me a comment so I know you like the video. And I also mentioned that I have super thanks on my channel. Down below, you can give me a little bit of a tip for this video if you enjoyed it. And I also have channel memberships, which is a monthly fee. You can join and cancel anytime you want. And again, it's kind of like giving me a tip towards my content if you enjoy my videos. It's a great way again to give back to the channel. I also have affiliate links and affiliate codes that you can use that again give me a kickback. I'm giving you all the ways that you can help support the channel but if you're just watching and giving me a thumbs up that also helps as well. So I thank you so much for your support. I will also leave links to my Instagram and Twitter where you can follow me along and until my next video which will be very soon if you like this format of me like trying out a bunch of products like the lip products specifically let me know and I can do this kind of video in the future all right I will go ahead and get out your face now all right so until my next video which will be very soon I'll talk to you bye guys